Sure. Uh, this is an interesting question for not just what happened and how that came about, but um, kind of why you should go to events if you're a game developer, because some of what you do is social. It's just not you in your basement. You should try to meet other people. So that's why I always say people should go to GDC or other events. And I'm sad when events even like E3 go under. Um, because this happened because of E3, I think, kind of. Um, so at GDC, the Overkill team came in to talk to someone at Valve about something, and I got asked to sit in on the meeting. Um, and so we started talking um, there. And David Goldfarb was also there. So it's like, Ulf, Ulf is the guy that I hit it off with there. Uh, it's two brothers, Ulf and Bo. Uh, Ulf I hit it off with. And then David Goldfarb was there as well because he's a designer on Payday 2. And that was coming up. And he mentioned something about Half-Life or something. And I had to deal with that. And um, yeah. and uh, he now runs uh, Outsiders. They made Metal Health Singer. Check it out. It's a good game. Uh, but, uh, so Ulf and I then were like, hey, we're both going to be at E3, and he's coming over from Sweden, so yeah, let's, let's meet up. So we meet up, and we hung out that night. Um, I only feel bad about one thing, is I had some press stuff to do in the morning this one night, and we went to some party, where it was all bottle service and, like, vodka just flowing, and I was drinking water the whole time, and they were just drinking bottles of vodka, and I think they thought I was drinking vodka as well, and I was keeping up with them, and they weren't going to show me. Uh, I don't think they could walk when they left, and I... Went to bed early and uh, woke up bright-eyed. Uh, but from that night, uh, we're like, we should do something together. And so then we did the uh, crossover connection with uh, Payday. And for that kind of process, is I'm real hands-off. I'm like, you guys are good designers. You're not going to ruin your game. So put it in. And my, I think my only feedback was the very first pass at the characters, uh, kind of like they're all pooping their pants. They kind of had this weird hunched down kind of thing going on. Uh, and so uh, I asked them to fix that. And I think that was really about the only feedback I gave them. Ulf then later, uh, we're good friends and I'd go visit them uh, when they, they were doing Payday 2. And then he left there, um, stuff. And he started 10 Chambers. Uh, and when he was starting that, he asked me to join him there to make a co-op game. And so we had met and talked about that and almost did it. Uh, went to Sweden and um, Stockholm and went to the restaurant that has nothing but pictures of ABBA all over it. But it's a fancy restaurant. It's very weird. Very, very, very proud of ABBA. Um, it didn't work out. Like, we just, it, well, I wanted to make something different than what they wanted to make. GTFO is a great game. They are now owned by Tencent, making something else. So, super great. The Elf is one of those people. If he made a game, I would play it instantly. We still, te still text, talk, and chat. Um, but, like, it's good to get those kind of connections in the industry. Because uh, that's all somebody I ask questions for or I ask a favor of, hey, can you introduce me to this person? Or we do a crossover with our games, right? And so you always want to kind of have that communication with people and then be cool. Don't be a jerk. Be nice about it. It works.